Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the Chicago Bears versus Detroit Lions Week 11 matchup based on analytics. Each week, I collect all of the current 2017 NFL team data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. And since it's a weekly collection, there's always going to be some variation in terms of different variables. However, there's always going to be little nuggets of truth that could become bigger nuggets of truth as the season continues. So stick around as I analyze each week's matchups based on analytics. And if you're new to the channel, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So starting with this matchup uh, between the... Chicago Bears and the Detroit Lions uh, starting with the NFL stat basic comparison data and basic comparison data uh, for all those people that are kind of interested in you know what that term is it, it's essentially looking at how the offense is doing how the defense is doing and how the special teams is doing on a macro level uh, and in this particular game it shouldn't be a surprise that the majority of the data uh, favors the Detroit Lions so let's get into some of the basic points. Starting out with offense, uh, the Lions are just favored in every single category. They're favored in terms of turnover percentage. They don't allow as many turnovers as the Bears have this year. Uh, they don't allow as many sacks as the Bears have this year. And on top of that, they just have a better offensive score percentage, meaning that the Lions are just able to put more points on the board on every single offensive drive. Um, so ultimately, the Lions are, are favored uh, because offensively speaking, they're just that much better than the Bears. Uh, and then on top of that, when you go to the defensive side of the football, the Lions are better where it matters as well in terms of defensive offensive score percentage, which is essentially how well the defense does in terms of preventing points, uh, which is really what matters most when it comes to defensive data. Turnover ratio, also in favor of the Lions. Interception ratio, also in favor of the Lions. The only area where the Bears are actually kind of, you know, have some help is uh, with... Uh, sack percentage the bears are better in terms of getting sacks you saw the sack percentage issue of the lions so that's really the only area where i see uh, some issues here uh, now when you get to the special teams data so looking at punt return yardage kick return yardage and all those other sort of variables uh, the lions are favored in terms of uh, punt return yardage bears favored in terms of kick return yardage uh, the Lions are, are also favored in terms of defensive punt return yardage and defensive kick return yardage. Field goal percentage is with the Lions, uh, extra point percentage Lions, and punting averages with the Bears. For the most part, though, the special teams, it, it just heavily favors uh, the, uh, the Lions in that particular case. Uh, so just to sum up all the information, offensively speaking, heavily favors the Lions. Defensively speaking, heavily favors the Lions, and then special teams-wise also heavily favors the Lions. So then when we get to some down and distance data, uh, so some more micro matchup type of data, uh, the, Lions, the Bears offense versus Lions defense when it comes to completion percentage, uh, the Lions are favored here in terms of first and second down specifically. Uh, then, of course, you get to the Lions offense versus Bears defense when it comes to completion percentage. And in this case, the Lions are favored here in terms of first, second, and third down. Then, of course, you get to rushing downs, uh, Bears offense versus Lions defense. And in this case, the Bears are favored on first and second down, respectfully. Lions offense versus Bears defense in terms of rushing downs. The Bears are favored here on second and third down. Then you get to passing downs. Uh, Bears offense versus Lions defense. The Lions defense are favored in terms of passing downs on first, second, and third down. And not only that, the Bears have the worst second down, uh, well, first down conversion rate on second down, meaning that out of every team in the NFL, they are the worst in terms of picking up downs with the pass on second down. That's not good. You know, that's, that's, that's not what you want to see. So they've definitely had uh, issues in terms of uh, these particular areas. Then, of course, you get to passing downs for the Lions offense versus the Bears defense. In this case, the Lions are favored here in terms of second and third down, respectfully. Then you get to sack rate for the Bears versus Lions. 
Uh, in this particular case, I'd say it's pretty even. Even in first down, big advantage for the Bears on second down, and then a big advantage for the Lions on third down. So I would say this is fairly even here in terms of uh, um, sack rate uh, for the most part. Uh, I would just keep, uh, keep uh, my eye on uh, third down situations. Uh, and then, of course, you get to sack rate for the Lions offense versus the Bears defense. And in this particular case, uh, the Bears defense is heavily favored in terms of first down situations and third down situations to a major extent. So if there was one thing I'd be worried about in this game, if I was a Lions fan, it would be the sack rate. You know, I, I would legitimately have uh, some issues with this because of that. Uh, then, of course, you get to the interception ratio of the Bears offense versus the Lions defense. And in this case, the Lions are favored here in terms of first and second down, respectfully. And then finally, you get to the interception ratio of the Lions offense versus the Bears defense. And in this particular case, I'd say it's pretty even. Big advantage for the Lions on first down, advantage for the Bears on second down, and then third down, it's kind of evenly matched. But I would say this is pretty even. There is a big disparity for the Lions on, on uh, first down, but... Uh, again, the, the one area that the Lions have this kind of continuing issue in terms of picks is on second down. So that's going to be the main down to kind of see if a interception, a turnover happens is on that particular down. So ultimately, uh, how do I feel about uh, this matchup? Well, should be a surprise. I think it's a Lions victory. I think there's enough data favoring the Lions to not get too antsy about it. Uh, the, the one area, again, that I have some concerns is with uh, sack rate uh, between the Lions and the Bears. The Bears are very good at sacking the quarterback. You know, they've, they've been doing that pretty dang well this year. You know, they've been doing that pretty well this year. So that's the one area where I think you have a disparity that could help the Bears out. However, when the offense is as stagnant as the Bears' offense is, when the Lions defense legitimately is just the better defense because for as much as sacks are, are important, I mean, sacks are cool, sacks are fun. If you have a ton of, what would you rather have? Would you, would you rather have great sacks or would, you, or would you rather have the ability to prevent points? And as a data guy, you would want the ability to prevent points more so than the ability to get sacks. Uh, so it's for that reason that I ultimately have to go with the Lions here. I just think, again, the data overwhelmingly favors them. I think there's a couple areas where the Bears might catch the Lions off guard, might get some help, but I think ultimately it's, it's just going to be a Lions victory. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.